All right, let's talk about Justin Herbert, a player who I think there's plenty to talk about with Justin Herbert, a very unique player, and I think a lot of people have, you know, different opinions on him. There's people who call him a superstar. There's people who say, well, if he's a superstar, how come Mahomes is winning Super Bowls every year and he still has, has yet to win a playoff game? Well, let's get into it. Went back and watched a lot of his tape from last season and let's talk about what I have learned. Let's start off with this play because one thing I thought Herbert did a lot really well with the Chargers is I thought he did a great job of maximizing team success at times, of when a situation wasn't going great, uh, he he was still able to turn it into at least a good situation. I kind of, you know, talked about how it felt like he had a lot of uh, really good games and where the box score uh, didn't necessarily, uh, you know, showcase how good of a game he had this year. I think this play is a good example of that, where it's going to be it's going to be zone coverage that the, the Jaguars are in. This is in that playoff game. Uh, you see that for Herbert, I think he's going to do a very good job of kind of recognizing when things aren't going well and being able to move off of it. Where watch what happens. First things first, he looks towards the right side of the screen, but doesn't love what he sees. So he's going to say, okay, no worries. Uh, you know, I'll look for something else. Should he have thrown it there? Honestly, no. This wasn't open. This is the right decision by him to move somewhere else. So that's what he does. Looks over the middle, even has the ball, you know, ready to be thrown. The issue is, again, nothing is open right here. Everything's clogged up. So he could try to throw a timing route, but I don't know. It's dangerous here, and you don't want to throw an interception. Also worth mentioning, just the situation, it is currently a third down and I have to get to the 35-yard line. That's what they're doing right here. So, you know, first read wasn't open, second read wasn't open, but the play is not dead yet. However, it's going to be soon. You know, this is right around when pressure typically comes, so you got to be careful. However, Herbert steps up in the pocket, finally finds his halfback, who's able to run forward and pick up the first down right there. That's a great play from Justin Herbert, uh, and, and you know, it's a good statistical play as well. They don't always end up in great statistical plays, though. Sometimes they end up in just, you know, four-yard gains or whatever, and he is one of the guys who seems to have a lot of very good four-yard gains. Again, I'm not trying to sit here and say that the Chargers were, you know, the, the the Bears last year, right? That's obviously not the case. They have some receivers, but the receivers were banged up for a good chunk of the year, and there were times when guys weren't getting open consistently. Uh, and a lot of people blame the coaching for that as well. So, you know, PFF had them ranked as the 12th best receiving core as a whole. So, okay, above average as a whole, but there were some rougher games. But even when things weren't great, he still finds a way to make stuff happen. Like, for example, this play, where it's going to be a... a, a you know, man coverage across the board, and uh, it's really the rece the route you see on the screen, that's going to be the key one, the tight ends route here. Watch how when this play begins. Is it open? Yes and no. So here's the thing. There isn't currently a ton of separation, but what the advantage is, is that the tight end for the Chargers, he is currently past the defender who's trying to cover him, meaning he can look back and play the ball, whereas the defender cannot, and Herbert is going to throw this in a smart way here. Because again, one of the things that's also important to talk about is in the NFL, it's not as simple as it is in Madden, where if you want to throw it to the guy that's, you know, if you want to throw it to a certain guy, you just hit square and you're good. In the NFL, you know, there's more to it than that. It's not just who do you throw it to, but how do you throw it to them? Watch how Herbert throws it high, which allows his receiver to be able to go up and make the grab. That's what you want to do on a play like that is put it in a position where a receiver can make a play. And I think that's something that Herbert has a very good understanding of. Or something like this is just, this is an incredible play, really, where, uh, you know, you see the route on the screen that Herbert wants to throw to. The issue is that you're going to have a linebacker kind of fake as though he's blitzing, but then drop back into coverage right at where the end of this route is going to be. I mean, this is not a great situation, uh, given what we know now. You know, it is Keenan Allen running the route. That's definitely a help, but still, there's some concerns here. Watch how when this play begins, you see that, you know, first Herbert actually looked towards his uh, right, but now he looks over, he sees Allen. The issue is, you know, can this is a tough throw. I mean, uh, if it wasn't for the player who's over the middle, this is definitely going to get open, but you actually have two players who have dropped back into coverage, one further towards the top of the screen, the other for further towards the bottom of the screen, and you have the player who's just covering Allen in general. Now, why take this risk and even bother with this throw? It's not very 
far down the field. Well, it's a third down, and they have to get to the 18-yard line. So the one thing Herbert does have to his benefit is it's a good angle to make this throw, right? And he's not throwing it that far down the field. But there's not a huge window. And when there is that window, when it does open up, it's only going to be for a split second. However, Herbert times it well, he gets it there, and they're able to pick up a first down on that play. So, really good stuff from Herbert to be able to do this kind of thing. Again, these are the kind of things that he does consistently, is just find ways to get make a positive impact on the play, find ways to get the ball down the field. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's all perfect, because obviously it isn't all perfect. There are going to be some issues, and I guess the one issue I would say is that there are times when, uh, you know, I really, I mean, the main thing I would say is it's not really, I don't have a ton of issues with Herbert as a whole. He's not, not, not really a flawed player in a huge way. It's the one issue I have maybe with the Chargers offense is sometimes it, it's too receiver dependent and there's not so much Herbert can do about specific plays like something like this where it's going to be man coverage across the board. You see the route he wants to look towards. Hey, a route that can work against his coverage. I mean, this is a good route on paper. On paper, this play should work. So, uh, Herbert takes a snap. He's going to get outside the pocket. And worth mentioning, this is with a mi under a minute left. This is complete desperation time for the Chargers. So, while maybe this isn't a throw that Herbert makes, in fact, it's definitely not a throw Herbert makes if it's the second quarter. In this situation, he has to try and make something happen. So, okay, this is all we can do. Let's throw it up and see what happens. That's what Herbert does, uh, but his receiver cannot make the play. Uh, ends up getting uh, bobbled around a little bit before intercepted by Nick Bolton. So, that's how that play worked so again not a very good play from the Chargers you could blame Herbert if you want but at the end of the day it's like listen guys aren't always gonna win I don't know almost feels like I'm really kind of massively nitpicking here if I, I'm being honest about this play there isn't a lot that Herbert does wrong and there is a lot that he does right he is a very successful player who does a lot of the little things very well and obviously you know we all know about his super large arm and his athleticism and stuff like that uh but the thing that's really kind of set him apart from some other big armed players that haven't been able to work at the NFL level is he is someone who does more than that he does the little things as I mentioned in this video, and when you put all of that together, you have the guy with the cannon of an arm uh, and great athlete, but he can also do the other stuff that allows him to be a successful NFL quarterback. That's when you get something truly special like what you have with Herbert. At least that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Herbert? Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.